I hope this uh, video inspires you to do great things with the Adobe Dreamweaver software. Today we're going to make rounded corner div tags. Now this is the best way to do it, the most procedurally correct way to do it, and the most flexible way to do it. So this particular div tag, we're going to put three div tags inside of the wrapper container div tag. We're going to have a top menu div, mid content div, and bottom menu div. Simple, simple, simple. Here's how we're going to do it. First of all, we're going to go to fireworks to create the graphic. So our rounded corner is going to be 25 pixels high at the top, 25 pixels high at the bottom. Therefore, rounded corner is going to be 900 pixels wide to support the wrapper div. It's going to be 50 pixels high. Why 50? Because I want to use the same document, not two separate documents, one graphic document for the top and the bottom. So here's our document. I then go to, first of all, let's save this, make a change, save a change. So let's put this inside of images, and we're going to call this round menu 2. In case we have a 3, 4, or 5, good half to get into. So we're going to take our rounded corner tool and create a rounded bar. Now, if you don't get it exact, that's okay because you can go to the property palette. So I'm going to go down to my property palette and make this 50 by 0 by 0, the x and y 0. We're going to make this color this orange color. So this is our navigation. Now, this is a PNG file, which is web publishable. Web publishable files support, PNG files support transparency and layers. So this has a transparent background. Command tab, Macintosh trick here. Command tab is back to Dreamweaver. So inside of Dreamweaver, we delete this content. And we're going to basically strip the tag. And we're going to put the names of our three divs. Now, this is a very, very simple approach. This is so simple. If you follow this technique, it'll make your whole design so much simpler. So we're going to basically call our top menu div. I'm going to put that to the top. Followed by mid content. Followed by bottom menu. Okay. Now, this is a technique you probably haven't seen before, but this is my technique for making div tags. It works. I'm working with classic mode, Dreamweaver, layout tab. Now, inserting divs, you can do that inside the common tab, but it's too confusing here. You can go to layout, it's the first one. So we're gonna double click, top menu. Okay, so here we have the three names of our div tags that we're gonna put inside of wrapper. So here's a simple, simple way to do this. Double click, top menu, copy, command C, or control C on Windows, command C, Macintosh, insert div, paste. Why am I copying and pasting this where there's no typo? Don't reinvent the wheel. Use the computer to your benefit. Copy, paste. There's my top menu div. Double click, copy, and paste. There's my mid content div. Double click, copy, and paste. There's my bottom div. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Use the computer to your benefit. Okay, so top menu, you're going to select the tag, make the div. Select the tab, make the rule. Sorry, select the tag, make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. So we're going to select the tag called top menu div and make a rule for it. Now, I don't need to be this specific for wrapper top menu, so I'm going to just simply say top menu. Top menu is going to be 25 pixels high. That's how high we made the graphic inside of the fireworks document divided by two. We made it 50 pixels high divided by two. So we're going to make this height 25 pixels high. The background is going to be, background is going to be this graphic with no repeat, position to the left, top, left top. So if I apply the option, there's my left top. Now here's a sweet little technique here. We're simply going to copy top menu because I can go over here and duplicate this. So we're going to simply call this one bottom menu. So we're going to basically make a rule for bottom menu that does the same properties as the top menu. The difference being that when you double click to 
edit it, it's going to be changed. So I'm going to position this from the left bottom, not the left top, left bottom. This way I'm using the same graphic. Double click, delete the content, double click, delete the content. Now for here, mid content, select the tag, make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. We're going to make rule for mid content to simply have padding, no height, no width, padding. We do padding of 30 pixels. And background color, we could sample the same color that's inside of our document. And there you have it. There's top menu, bottom menu. Now if I'm going to go to the web for a second and copy and paste some content. Double click, paste. And there you have it. Now, of course, you probably want to change your uh, wrapper to a different height, but there's your rounded corners. Now, here's a technique. I'm going to basically just make that header one, command two, header two. Now, I don't like this color, so I'm going to change my H2 to a different color. Let's just make this white. Okay? Simple, simple, simple. Now, client says, well, I don't know what you were thinking, but this orange is not what I had in mind. I was thinking more of a yellow color. So, how do I fix this? First of all, save it as, we're going to call this site U2, because we don't want to reinvent the wheel here. So, save as, and we're going to call this version 2. Then, back to Fireworks, Command and Tab, Command Key Tab and Macintosh, or select the application inside of Windows. Go back to Fireworks, save it as, we're going to call this menu 3. This way, flexibility. So all I have to do now is select this, make this more of a yellowish color, save the file. Now, I don't want to reinvent the wheel here, so a simple, 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 simple way to change this is just to go to your code and change to two, three. Then go to your main content div, change the color to yellow. Problem solved. Problem solved. Flexibility is the key to good design. Flexibility clients always have changes. So I hope this helped you. If you have any comments, please leave them. Please support thinkdreamweaver.com. Thank you.